The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates to their highest level since 2008 amid inflation concerns. And these historic actions taken by the central bank might leave Americans wondering how they should currently be managing their checking accounts or savings accounts and all of that. Yeah. So joining us now with some actual answers is CBS News Money Watch reporter Megan Cerullo. She w wrote an article on this topic for CBSNews.com. Megan, so great to have you actually here in Studio 57. Yeah, Megan, welcome back. You know, and people are trying to figure out what to do with all uh, of this. And for most people, the answer is like, I just don't have enough cash to go around. But if you do have um, some money and you're trying to figure out where to put it, what are some of the risks of keeping too much, too little in a checking account? That's right. There are downsides to, to keeping both too little and too much money in a checking account. If you have too little money in one of these accounts, you could get dinged with overdraft fees. Or if you have a bill on auto pay and it's higher than you expect, um, those fees are at record highs. In 2021, the average overdraft fee was $33 and um, 50 something cents. So that can really add up. So you do not want to run too thin. On the other hand, if you have too much cash in a checking account, that's dead money because it's not earning any interest. You might as well stuff it under a mattress. So one alternative to that is you can put your money in a high yield savings account. I understand that these days you're getting more than the 3% return. The downside to that is there's a little bit of a delay if you need to access that cash. So help everyone figure this out. How much money do you keep in your current account and how much should you, you know, tuck away? It's really easy to make deposits and withdraw cash from a, a checking account. That's where you should store your money, the money you spend on everyday purchases. A good rule of thumb is to keep two months worth of expenses in your checking account plus a 30% buffer if you can afford it. That way you're going to avoid getting dinged with fees. If you have excess reserves, you can aim to, say, to have about four months uh, worth of expenses in a savings account. Even if you already have a savings account, you should look into what kind of interest it's paying because yeah. it may be low. Today, uh, the, the, the best, uh, the highest yield savings accounts pay uh, up to 3.9, almost 4% interest. That's a, a lot of money you could be earning risk-free just by um, shuffling some cash around. Uh, you say that now is a good time to save. And we know that, that for a lot of people, now it doesn't feel like you're able to save. Many people yeah. have already exhausted their savings. Uh, what's your best advice? Again, savings is a is a journey and it's a goal. So don't be discouraged if you're living paycheck to paycheck and think I, I can't even fathom having an additional four months expenses to put into one of these accounts. However, uh, with the Fed having raised interest rates for the seventh time this year, that's making uh, the cost of borrowing money really expensive. Alternatively, the silver lining is that it makes it a really good time to save because you're finally earning meaningful interest on your dollars. So if you have ten thousand dollars in a in a check in a savings account that that pays three point nine percent, that's three hundred ninety dollars a year. You're you're earning risk free. Um, so it's a really good time to shop around, look into some of the smaller online banks. Those are the the institutions that compete on the smaller online banks. Yep, they are going to compete on interest rates. The bigger banks are flush with deposits, and they advertise their brands, um, uh, you know, in, in other ways. But the way small banks compete for, for your business is, is by offering enticing savings rates. So it, it, it pays, it's, it, it could pay uh, to do your homework. Very interesting. Accounts and as like always. Marcus, uh, Marcus from Goldman Sachs is one of them, Ally Bank. Go on, Lana. Oh, no, I was just going to say what, what you and I always try and remind people is, um, but none of that savings matters if you're carrying high credit card debt. Please, so if you can avoid it, off pay can. off the balance. That's absolutely right. Megan, right. thanks so much. You watching the World Cup? You rooting for anyone? Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Um, probably Argentina. Oh, probably <laughs> Argentina. Only oh, because they're out. Yeah. Okay. Only because France won last year. So it gives oh, me a exactly. little right. <laughs> right. Okay. Good to see you. Thanks for being Good here. Good to see you. Thanks.